And we're gonna create a whip pan style transition and make that into a Mogurt template that we could bring into Premiere and we could use in all of our videos moving forward. So all we have to do is a simple drag and drop and there's our transition. So let's dive into it. All right, so I'm in After Effects right now. I have my two placeholders right now. I'm gonna bring this into a new composition. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna parent my top layer to my bottom layer. Then bring my top layer. I'm gonna bring that right out of the frame and I'm gonna have it just peeking in like that. And I'm gonna make sure my composition is the right span of however long I want my transition to be. So I want it to be 15 frames. So I'm gonna hit the N key and then I'm gonna to go to composition, trim comp to work area. Now I'm gonna create a position keyframe for my bottom layer. And then I'm gonna move all the way to the end and I'm gonna just bring it all the way to the right till it reveals the top layer. Okay, so there's our, there's our movement. Now I'm gonna take it one step further and I'm gonna create kind of a slingshot rubber band kind of animation. So in order to do that, I'm gonna skip forward to my second, my frame two or three right here. And I'm gonna make another keyframe and I'm gonna bring it back like that. And I'm gonna make sure that this keyframe is that continuous bezier. Or I could just hit command until it turns into a circle. And then I'm gonna do the same thing at the end. I'm gonna copy this last keyframe and bring it right here. And then I'm gonna scoot it over like that. And then I'm gonna do continuous bezier again. And then this last one, I'm gonna do easy ease in. Let's see how that looks. I gotta make sure my motion blur is enabled. There we go. Motion blur makes a big difference. So I think I wanna make this a little faster. So in order to do that, I'm just gonna take these two keyframes, I'm gonna scoot them over so it ends at about 10 frames. I think that looks a lot better. So now I'm gonna end right here. I'm gonna do the same thing, trim to work area. So now our transition is about 10 frames. So now you see that as you get the slingshot effect, you see the alpha channel on the back. So unfortunately that's your, that's gonna reveal a bottom layer in Premiere. So in order to fix that, here's what I'm gonna do. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pre-comp both of these compositions. They both have their own little pre-comps. I'm gonna take both of these layers, I'm gonna hit Command D to duplicate, and then I'm gonna pre-compose. Now, I'm gonna put this to the bottom, and I'm gonna scale this all the way up until I no longer see any alpha channel. I'm gonna add a Gaussian blur to the bottom layer, just so it kinda of hides in the background, and you get the full effect of the transition. Okay, so that looks pretty good. So now let's make our motion graphics template, our Mogurt. So I'm gonna to go to Window. I'm gonna to go to Essential Graphics. So now I'm gonna hit Select a Composition. I'm gonna select my Transition Placeholder Composition. This is my current comp. Okay, so then instead of dragging parameters, which I can do, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna drag my actual Composition Placeholders. So I'm gonna go into their pre-comps and I'm gonna drag one, and I'm gonna go into my other one, and I'm gonna drag two. This is gonna be our, our in layer, and this is gonna be our out layer. I'm just gonna name it, I'll name it Space Transition. Then I'll go to Export Motion Graphics Template. It's gonna ask me to save, yes, I'll save. Now, now a dialog box is gonna pop up. It's gonna ask you where you wanna save it, I'm gonna save it to my library. You could also save it to your local drive and you could also give it tags. So I'm gonna give it the transition, whip pan, space. Now I'm gonna to jump to Premiere. All right, so I'm in Premiere. I have my two clips here and I'm gonna make a transition between the two. So I'm gonna to go to my essential graphics panel. If you can't find it, you go to window, essential graphics, and this will pop up. And I'm under browse, I'm just gonna search space transition. 
and there it pops up right there. You could also add it to your favorites and then you just search by your favorites. I'm gonna take my transition and I'm gonna drag it right onto my clip on the top layer here. Okay, so here's my transition. So what I need to do is I need to take my two clips, my in and my out. So if I click on the transition, it'll jump into the editor and you'll see out layer and in layer. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my in layer, I'm gonna line it up and I'm just gonna trim it right there. I'm gonna do the same thing with my out layer. I'm gonna bring it right underneath and I'm gonna trim that. So my in layer, I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna go make sub sequence. And then it's just gonna pop up in my project panel and I'm just gonna drag it right on the in layer. And you'll see the picture changes. Now I'm gonna do the same thing with the bottom one. Make sub sequence. And I'm gonna drag to my out layer. And it's as simple as that. Simple drag and drop. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like it, hit that like button so it can spread to more people like you. Thanks for watching. Hope this video helps your videos in the future. See you next time.